everybody, and welcome to Take Your Time Gaming. I'm your host, Katie. We are now on episode six of Franbo, and we are moving right along. Uh, in game wise, we're uh, on chapter two, part two, and I'm not sure how many chapters there are, but uh, I feel like we're kind of now that we have gotten out of the asylum, I feel like we're kind of speeding through it. Uh, what happened last time? We're exploring this Siamese twin house. Uh, that is actually, in reality, just a deep, dank well. <laughs> so, grab a tasty beverage, and let's get started. So, let's unpop that pill and go back upstairs. Oh, actually, I want to see if the staircase leads to anywhere different. They end in a wall. Interesting. I'm assuming I'm just going to be at the bottom again. Yeah, okay. Alright, so back up these stairs. And let's go up the ladder, because we have now explored everything else. Oh, good, it's dark. Oh, why are addicts in horror movies, like, so creepy? Like, all the time. They're always so creepy. I don't have anything to give them, so that's fun. Oh, look, shoes. Stop creaking. Sound effects. <gasps> Mr. Midnight? Oh my god, we found him. Wait a second. I should be more suspicious of this game. It is Mr. Midnight! Oh, I love you too. You would not believe what I went through. I will open the cage. It's gonna be okay, Mr. Midnight. I did, for sure. Oh dear. It was really peaceful and kind. Yeah. Oh, okay, I will. I'm guessing tweezers aren't gonna work. Okay. That's sad. We actually have a red fox who passes through our backyard. It's quite lovely. I named it Clarence, and then I saw Clarence squat to be, and so then I changed it to Clarice. And we see Clarice every couple weeks. Oh, I hate scorpions. <laughs> they walk with their butt in the air, ready to stab you. I'm Sagittarius. Actually, I think I just came up with the title for this episode. Perhaps we shall see. That's not gruesome. A cat. Anything of interest over here? I hope so too, Fran. 
Oh god, okay. You're right, let's not touch it. Can we take the umbrella? Oh wait, what is that? An angel's head? Oh, in the snow globe. No. What is this? Oh, a dead rat. I wonder if we're gonna... Yep. How do I get that? Hello? Fran? Oh my god, did I just kill myself? Oh, that was- what a weird little visual glitch. Okay, that's fine. Okay! That's fun. Where is your head? My other head, you mean? I'm confused. Yeah, I may have done that. I mean, that's good advice. Mmm, more cake. Yes, of course I'm scared! That's because I found him. Don't you sit there all judgy-like. I'm not a rude person. Of course. I escaped from a place? <laughs> That about sums it up. God, I remember that growing up. Ah, oh, if there was a neighborhood child who was older, it would it was always you have to do what I say because I'm older. You can't tell me what to do. Wow, now you're getting rude. I wish I still had my hatchet. You don't scare me. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't mean to acquiesce, no. Oh, here's our... Oop, didn't get to read that. Mm. Hmm. 
<laughs> it was not. Yeah, sure, like, you have no clue why you were cursed. God, I really don't like these girls. Ooh, key. Is it a cage? Well. Let's check this out. Summon the old lost body. Lost in darkness, lost in tears. Your body becomes alive through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, and the burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. <laughs> Ma nam something something something. Huh. Interesting. So they locked the attic. Hmm. I wonder if I could just stab him. <laughs> ah! Stop that. That's not okay. I'm not okay with that. The girls left. That's interesting. I'm not totally sure. Oh my freaking god. Oh god, or we're getting worse. I wonder if we need to- oh, we can't take our pills here. Oh, interesting. Oh man, do I have to kill the frog? Well, it said heart of a frog, not heart of a toad. You got it, Mr. Toad. Yep. I saw her in a few of the rooms, actually. It was terrifying. I will try and save you. Ah. I guess I can light the fire with that. So I think I just need to make a faux potion with my ingredients. Is that normal? I don't think so. Makes sense to me. So I need to get that bottle too, for sure. Doubters need the truth on paper.
Fun stuff. How do we get that message in the bottle, I wonder? Messaging. Well, let me see something. So that is a rock. Hmm. Nope, can't reach it with that. This is not going to work, but whatever. Can I climb these? Ah! Can I reach it now? I need a bladed boomerang. Oh, <laughs> I can go all the way over here. Yay! And now let's knife this. Yay! Coolios, we did it! What's in here? What? You just ate it! Okay. Okay, a bewitched bottle. Can I poke it? I mean, can... Hmm. It burned. What is this again? Can it put out a fire? No. Cool. So I use the tweezers to reach in the bottle. Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the executor of the ritual. Or executor, I guess. Not executor. A blue bloomed moonlight rose and hair from the person you want to be with. So cool. We have candle, so we are missing three ingredients. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Boil. Pour over the person you would have bewitched and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Alright, so we need my blood, a moonlight rose, and hair from the Siamese twins. Anything else here? Okay. So where would the rose be? I remember seeing a rose earlier. Where was the rose? Upstairs, maybe in the attic? Oh shoot, but we can't grab that. This is a, a rose. Hmm. Well, that looks like the rose we need. Hmm. 
Can I take blood from the dead body? No. Well, I can't get up to the attic. Rose, 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 rose. Nope, it was definitely in the attic that I saw the rose. It has a little keyhole, but I can't open that. Hmm. Maybe the toad knows how to get the... No. Let's try that. Let's go ask the toad. He might know. I guess that doesn't count. <laughs> I need that rose, man. I can take one of these flowers. No. Oh wait, there's a rose up here. But that's not blue. I don't think it's going to let me grab it. Nope. Well, G. Willikers. I wonder if I can get back up to the attic by doing this. Can I climb the rope? Nope. Dang it! Oh, that's not fair. If I climbed up top, I should be in the attic, but lame. Hmm. This is just gonna be the well again, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Well. I may cut here so I can make some progress. <sighs> Try eating more stuff. Come on, guys. This is annoying. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the stove. I'll do that. Let's see what we can do with what we have. Alright, 
let's light the fire. Put the pot on the stove. Oops. So that's boiling now. Okay. Hmm. Where did those annoying girls go? How do I get hair from them? I mean, you'd think it would be on a hairbrush somewhere. Maybe a pillow? There has to be a clue! keyhole. No. I don't see a key. Do y'all see a key? Nope. This is getting irritating. Do I have? Not enough. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna cut here until I can figure something out. Alrighty, people. So I basically just wandered around the entire house again and I realized that I have two pieces of paper uh, for the typewriter, both the bad recipe that the twins gave me and the recipe that was in the bottle. So I put in the bad recipe and now this is happening. <laughs> I am typing on it. Ah, okay. So I just added hair from your head so I can show this to the twins and convince them to give me a strand of their hair. Awesome. So now we have to go find them. Hopefully they're back in the... nope. They're not back in the living room. Aha, here they are. Okay. Toad! Alright, bye. Alright, let's go get that hair. Look for yourself. <laughs> Excellent. All right, we got her hair. So I need my own blood. I still need the stupid rose. And I need my own blood. So here's my own blood. Mmm, <laughs> red milk. So lastly is the rose. So let's go see if the frog can give us the rose. Nope, okay. Well, you took the thingamajig, the bag. That's not going to work. We 
can always try the typewriter trick again, but usually that kind of thing only works once. Uh, yeah, I can't do that again, actually, because I gave her the recipe. Could I make a rose out of that, maybe? A blue-bloomed moonlight rose. Uh, can't draw it. A blue-bloomed moonlight rose. Blue-bloomed, blue-bloomed. What makes a rose? <laughs> no. Well, let's go add the rest of the ingredients. Actually, let's check this. Come on, give me that. <sighs> I already tried going outside and clicking on the ocean and talking to the moon and that wasn't working. All right, so we need my blood. Ew. Hair in there. Where the heck do I get the rose? <laughs> That's not a rose. Did you know? That's not a rose. Rose, 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 rose. Let's see. Ah. I was hoping something else would pop up. No. I wish I could just stab her. <laughs> Yay, we beat that game! Locked the attic. Yes, we know this. Oh god, the ghost girl. Okay, cool. So we triggered something new. But not good enough. There's no way to- I wish I could just break this stupid mirror. Stab the mirror! No, that didn't work either. Draw on the mirror! <laughs> uh, the mirror does not like these. Can I wish I could combine something, but I can't. What was this turnip for again? Oh, a seed. I don't even know why I have that. Grrr. There is nothing in here. There is no rose. There is nothing. Okay. Well, I gotta call it quits for now. And I will try to solve this next time. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I know this episode was a little slower than the others just because we hit a hiccup with the puzzle. But that's how it goes with adventure games, right? But uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter. TYT Gaming, capital K, capital C. And enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs> Cheers.